Today, I am going to explain four basic concepts of math, the mean, median, mode, and range. And not only that, uh, by the end of this video, you're going to understand them and you're going to have a fail-safe, foolproof way to remember all of these things for all time. And bonus, uh, I'm going to give you a surprise gift at the end. Uh, spoiler alert, it is a digital gift, so uh, no need to skip ahead. It's not, not that exciting. Okay, there's some good news and bad news. The good news is that this stuff is not really complicated. I'm going to go through it pretty fast. It's pretty straightforward math here. Um, the bad news is that you do have to memorize them, though. And there's four of them, and you can maybe, like, forget which is which. But the bonus good news is that I will tell you a foolproof, fail-safe way to remember which is which. So, you know, you're welcome for that. All right, what we're really talking about when we talk about these four things is numbers, a bunch of numbers, a set of numbers. They could be anything. Um, and we just want a way to describe certain qualities of those numbers, like pick out uh, special numbers, patterns, that kind of thing. Um, let's start with the mean. This is uh, the most common one, I would say, the one that comes up the most in real life. What is the mean? Um, it means average. So, like, if you're looking at a professional basketball team and you're like, I wonder what the average height of that team is. That's what you're talking about, the mean here. How would you find that? Well, I'm about to tell you. Um, first, you find the total. You add up all the numbers. Six foot four, six foot nine, six foot eight, five foot three, whatever. Um, and then... You count how many numbers you just added up. If it's a professional basketball team, that number is 12. There are 12 players. And then you divide the total by how many numbers there are. All right, I'm going to give you a better example than a random basketball team. Um, let's say that I keep track of all the movies that I watch every month. I'm very fastidious about my watching habits. So here's all the numbers for the different months. Well, I'm just going to take those numbers. I'm going to write them down. Uh, put those like math looking brackets on the side of them for no good reason. It just looks more mathy. And what do I do? Well, you add them up, you get the total, and then you add. Okay, so let's add them up. That's the first thing. That was easy. Um, you get 30 when you add up all those numbers. And the next part was we need to find out how many numbers we just added up. Well, let's count them. Uh, great. Um, there's six of them. We got the numbers we need. We just take the total and divide by the number of numbers, and we get the mean. Good for us. Good job, everyone. OK, that's mean. That's it. Um, it doesn't get harder from here, honestly. OK, median. What does it mean? It means the middle number. In a set of numbers, which one is the middlest? How do you find it? Well, it's hardly even math. All you have to do is uh, order them from smallest to largest, and then start eliminating the ones in the end until what's left is the middle. Um, so let's say, oh, right, there's a little asterisk. I almost forgot. Uh, sometimes you'll find that by eliminating the ends, the edges, you, uh, you're left with two numbers. And if you're left with two numbers, you find the mean of those two numbers, which is not that hard because, as you remember from 40 seconds ago, uh, mean is pretty straightforward. So let's say... Uh, I kept track of all the warts I removed from my feet each year, and those are the numbers. Uh, there they are. Look kind of familiar. Okay, so what do we do? We put them in order from smallest to biggest, and we just start eliminating the ones on the edge, the biggest and the smallest, the biggest and the smallest. And then, in this case, there's only six, so that leaves us with those two things. The median can't be two numbers. It can only be one number. And we just need to find the point that's halfway between the two middlest numbers, which is the mean. So we add them up, 9. We count them up, 2. We got our numbers. Remember? Remember what we do? We divide the total by the number of numbers. That's our median. That's the middlest point of this uh, number set. Okay, mode. Could it be any easier than median? Turns out, yes, mode is even easier than median. Uh, what mode means is it's just the number that shows up the most. You just need to find the number that comes up the most. Um, it is helpful. You don't need to do this, but it is helpful to put them in order because that way when numbers are like right next to each other, there's like 1, 7, 8, 8, 9, 10, 
the the numbers that are next to each other will stick out to your eye so you won't screw it up um, it's possible that there'll be more than one number that shows up the most you know like on that basketball team there's like three guys who are six five and three guys who are six two well six two and six five are both the modes you can have multiple modes so how do we do this uh, here's the age of my dogs and you'll notice that um, I'm making all of this stuff up and it really doesn't matter what is describing the set of numbers that is in front of you. You just need those numbers. The numbers are the important thing. Uh, so there's my numbers. I'm going to put them in order like I've been doing just so that it becomes obvious that there's two fours. That's it. We're done. Um, okay, one more to go. Range. Uh, range really means the biggest number minus the smallest number. Uh, this is also pretty straightforward. Maybe not as easy as mode, but not much harder. Uh, to find it, yeah, just find the smallest number and the biggest number. If you put them in order, you won't screw it up. But do you really need to? Just, just find the smallest and the biggest. Um, and then you subtract the smallest number from the biggest number, and that is your range. So uh, here's the number of large pizzas that I ate last week, personally. There's my numbers. This looks familiar. Of course... Um, I put them in order just just because. But you can just look at the numbers at the top. You can see that 2 is the smallest and 9 is the biggest. And I'm just going to subtract the 2 from the 9. That's my range. That's it, guys. That's like, that is my the end of my explanation of how to find mean, median, mode, and range. But remember, that's only like the first challenge. The second challenge is to keep them straight. Uh, how do you remember what the mean is? So I have mnemonic devices for all four of these. And then you'll notice there's a part one. There's a part two, which is going to blow your mind. Probably not. Okay, mean. Uh, what is a way to remember something mean? Well, if someone tells you, like, you look average, that's kind of mean, you know? Nobody wants to be told that they look average. Um, that means that you have to remember what average is and how to calculate it. So I did come up with a second mnemonic device, which is this. Um, here's, here's a mean teacher. Look at that guy. Look at that mean teacher. Thanks to AI right there for giving me a picture of a mean teacher. And he's got a bunch of candy on his table. And here's why. Because it's just after Halloween and everyone in class brought in their own Halloween candy. And some people brought in a ton of candy. They had 12 pieces of candy. Some people brought in one or two pieces of candy, but they all had to put their candy in the pile in the desk in the middle of the room, which is kind of mean if you got 12 pieces of candy, because what's about to happen next is that it's divided up equally. We're going to find the average number of candy, and everyone is going to get the same amount of candy. You add up all the candy, divide by the number of students, you get the mean of candy, which is kind of mean. Look at that guy. Look at him. All mean-like. Okay, that's the mnemonic device for mean. Median. Uh, hopefully, this is easier to remember if you know what the name of that green strip in the middle of the road is. It's called a median strip. Um, so if you know what that is, great. You're done. You will forever remember that the middle number is like the middle thing in the strip uh, in the, the road. Maybe you've never heard that word before. You're unfamiliar with a median strip. Well, this isn't as good, but it's the best I could do. Uh, let's say there's a guy who's standing in the median strip. Thanks again to AI for that image. Uh, whose name is Dan. And uh, he's saying, it's me, Dan, in the middle of the road. Me, me, Dan. M median. All right, that's the best I got. Um, mode is just, it kind of rhymes with mode. Um, excuse me, rhymes with most. Um, that one's, you should remember that though. They have the same first two letters, mode, mode. Mode is the one that is the most. Okay. Range, when I think of the word range, I think of like a mountain range. Uh, and then you can sort of think like, well, the range is the difference between the top and the bottom of like the highest peak and the lowest valley. I don't know. Maybe you think of a Range Rover and it's like the highest that the Range Rover drives. That one's not as good, but, um, Range is the tallest minus the smallest. So that's what I got for you. But remember, I have a second thing for you, which um, here's the story. So at one point in history, um, nobody knows who, except probably the person who did it. There was some teacher who came up with a very clever rhyme to remember which is which. And I didn't make up the rhyme. I'll show it to you. Here it is. Um, 
But what I did, which is transformational, it's unprecedented, is I paid AI to come up with songs, to like put this to music. And I'm going to play a few of them for you. I actually made 20 of these because, I don't know, it was all the same price. Um, and your gift is uh, these songs. I'm going to make them downloadable. I'm going to make them streamable. So if you like have a test coming up, you can just like play this over and over uh, until you want to rip your ears off. Um, well, I'll play, I'll slice a couple of them together to give you a flavor of what I'm talking about and to like prove to you how amazing AI is these days. Um, and let's, let's give it a listen. Hey, diddle, diddle, the medium's the middle. You add and divide for the mean. Mode is the one that you see the most, and the range is the difference between. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hey, diddle diddle, the median's the middle. You add and divide for the mean. Mode is the one that you see the most, and the range is the difference between. And the range is the difference between All right, there it is. Mean, median, mode, and range. You will remember them forever, especially if you download or stream some of these songs. There's, I got so many different styles of music here. Uh, that's it. Good luck, everyone. <laughs>